Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone. We're over 9,200. We are cruising towards that 10,000. We hit about 9,600. That's when I'm going to release the rules um, and start talking more about the contest to give away that USG3 and that US8150 Switch. Those are both brand new in the box. I haven't even taken them out to look at them, uh, but I do have those. Um, so tonight is going to kind of be a security Saturday night, but... I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna concentrate on one topic, and what we're gonna talk about tonight is the the de de defense in depth or uh, layered security. And in IT, I design a lot of things in layers. I just don't give uh, you know a flat design for most things. So um, you know whether it's disaster recovery plans, backup plans, network design. Um, or security, I uh, use layers that even uh, developing uh, you know WordPress best practices and security and things like that. There, things are layered. There's never just a flat you know uh, attack vector on that. So what we're going to uh, talk about tonight a little bit more in depth then is security and layers. So uh, we're going to hop over to the Sketchpad. Let's see. Okay, so we are going to talk about security and layers for defense in depth. Tomato, tomato, 10,000 IT guys, 10,000 different uh, ways to talk about this. So um, I'm going to go kind of broad on this, and then if you've got questions, you can always put those you know, down in the comments. So what do we mean by security and layers or defense in depth? So uh, this is kind of cliche, but if you're looking at like an onion, you know, an onion has multiple layers, or I guess even like a gobstopper. I think that, you know what, if it's not coined already, you heard it right here. I am coining instead of an onion. Um, Willie Howe is going to call this a gobstopper. So our sweet, decadent security setup here has multiple layers to it. So what we're trying to protect We'll put it in the middle. So let's say that this is the end user, which is a really horrible, horrible example. Let's uh, let's delete all this and start over. Okay, so let's uh, say we've got our user right here, and inside the user's head, there are passwords. There are all kinds of things. Okay. Um, and you know this can mean the the user's computer or whatever. I mean, like I said, ten thousand guys, ten thousand different opinions. All right. So within, okay. So let's just say this is the user, the user space. Let's call it that. The user space. So uh, you know there might be a program that that we need to protect. So this next layer, this could be antivirus which in my opinion, traditional antivirus is uh, pretty much worthless these days. It's, uh, it's a checkbox uh, on a compliance list, so you need other things to go with it. So if you've seen my other videos, you know that my favorite thing instead of antivirus is Malwarebytes. So this layer could then be Malwarebytes. And there is an affiliate link Two malware bytes down there. Uh, if you want to buy it, it does give me a couple bucks to keep the channel going. So our next layer this could be, you know, the Windows firewall. I know, and some of you are going, why are you running a firewall inside fire? Sometimes you do that. Sometimes you do. All depends on the customer's requirements. And I would like to point this out, that if you are not designing 
and layers. Uh, if your current uh, solutions provider has not done this for you and talked about multiple layers and multiple steps and things like that, give me a call. Give me an email. Go to h5technology.com. Fill out the contact form because I want to talk to you. All right. So then uh, the next thing, this could be on the switch. And this could end up being like um, port security. Now, of course, if you're looking at this and you're going, well, this stuff's not all jiving. This is, this is a hypothetical. I haven't really given a lot of thought to this. It's kind of off the, the cuff. Um, let's see. And then we're still looking at the switch. So we got our next layer. And if anybody tells you that it's difficult to design, design this way, please call me. Uh, the next layer, this may be ACLs on the switch. Right? And then the next thing, this may be, um, you know, a special VLAN. And then this could be um, firewall. Oop. So this could be like uh, an edge router. Router, edge router, uh, USG, ASA. The list goes on and on and on and on. Which, by the way, surprised me this week. Cisco reached out to me, and they asked me if I wanted a bunch of lab gear. Meraki lab gear. And I said, I'm always looking for gear, so Cisco's going to send me some gear. Um, and it may or may not make the channel. Um, you know, I'm pretty dug in with Ubiquity, but I'm going to try to unbiasedly evaluate these other devices. And if I think uh, you're going to enjoy them, then I'll, I'll put them out there. Now, uh, the caveat to that is I am not buying them. They are not giving them to me long term. I get these for 30 days, no questions asked. If I keep them, then they will bill me. I am not keeping them. I just want to let you know I'm not keeping the Meraki gear. It is going back. Uh... But I, I'm going to evaluate it. I don't know if there will be any videos on it or not. So we'll just have to see how that all works out. There will definitely be interop, interoperability testing in the lab. Um, and then this next layer, this could be um, um, – because now you're looking at this going, ah, oh, this is kind of outside the firewall, but this could be content filtering. Then there's one really, 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 really important piece of this. And that user is right here. I'm going to change the color on that. That user is right here. This user and this user space, this is the most important part of this. Because all of this other stuff that we've set up, the content filtering, the ACLs, the VLANs, the port security, the firewall, the firewall, malware bytes, AV, all of it, all of it can be rendered useless by the user. It is true that people, human beings, are the weakest link in the network. It's absolutely true. So, one more critical thing, critical, critical, critical thing, is training your end users. Train, train, train your end users. Hey, if something doesn't look right, don't click on it. Were you expecting that attachment? No. Okay, don't open it. All these kind of things. So no matter what we do um, with, you know, the, the nuts and bolts of the network and all of our solutions, they can literally be undone in a click. Uh, a misplaced uh, password, whatever, by the end user. So treat your users re with respect. 
you know, this comes down to you also have to design solutions that don't, you know, that allow them to, to get their jobs done. Because if we as security professionals make things too onerous on the users, I promise you your users are going to bypass your security anyway. They're going to find efficient, efficient ways to do things that are really compromising your security model. So the user is the most important piece of this. Treat them like a human. Understand them. Listen to them. If you're not doing that, I don't know what you're doing in this business. I really don't. So that's it. You know, if you've got any questions, um, put them, put them down, uh, put them down in the comments. I'd like to hear what you've got to say about this, but uh, uh, I will defend everything that I just said in here, tooth and nail, because I believe it. We are no better than those users, but we are put in charge of training those users and making sure that they are doing the right thing. So, um, you know, if you need solutions designed and you need in-depth, you want to have a conversation about this, reach out to me. I'd be glad to do that. Uh, don't forget on Monday, Memorial Day, it will be 12 p.m. Central, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 Mountain Time, 1 Eastern, live stream uh, with Chris from Crosstalks. We're going to do that. We're just going to cut loose for a couple hours, and who knows what's going to happen. Who knows? Um, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those affiliate links down there to send a few bucks my way. There's a PayPal donation link, too. And uh, if you need anything, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to provide my consulting services. And we will see you in the next video.